Hi everyone, it's Adam with Modules Restoration, and today I picked up two cheap, kind of laminate, 70s style uh, chipboard, particle board uh, nightstands, and I'm going to refinish them and get them ready to sell in my booth. So I had a little bit of a problem with the laminate peeling off of the particle board, and I'm going to address that pretty quickly, but you could see there was one area where I had already filled in with some Bondo. Um, I started by, you know, taking the hardware out like I normally do and cleaning it, but there was a little bit of upfront repair work that I had to do before I could get to priming it, and you'll see that soon. So this is just my normal simple green degreaser. I got two buckets of water, one that I rinse in and wipe the degreaser off with. Then I'll take the same rag, dunk it in a bucket of clean water for the final rinsing, and then I dry it off and put it in the sun and let it dry. I had a lot of these little fills to do with CA glue, um, where the particle board was separating from the laminate. I just filled it in, put some activator on it, pressed it together, and it sufficed. Now, the next issue that I had was that it is might possibly be kind of hard to see, but the particle board was proud of the side of the, the nightstand. And I really thought that that would be a big turnoff to anybody who wanted to purchase it. So I decided what I was going to do was tear off the old backer, cut down the swollen particle board, and sand it flush, and then put a new backer on it. I then had quite a few staples to pull as a result of this. I sanded it with 180 to get everything clean and I decided that I'm going to try to go back in that original groove if I can. I went ahead and gave everything a scuff sanding with a very fine surf prep pad and it was like the softest one that they offered so it kind of contours to all the curves and stuff.
This is just BI and shellac based primer. So you'll have to forgive me for this clip. They just didn't come out well because my gun had a bad check valve and it was spraying really poorly. So it really took me a long time to get the paint on there. Well, I mean the primer. Just gave everything another sanding. Same grid as before. Okay, so as I put in the intro, we're going to be using Magnolia Home. It's Chip and Joanna Gaines. It's kind of branded paint that's made by Kilns. And I'm going to kind of give you my thoughts on it. You know, it's $28, so it's definitely cheaper than most paints currently. And also, you know, they're not in short supply of it for sure at Lowe's. So that's also a big positive. Obviously right now, a lot of things aren't in stock. So it is a styrene acrylic. Um, they don't really give instructions for thinning. I thinned it by, I think it up to by around 20% at one point. Probably would not recommend that. I noticed that it took a while to cure and it still doesn't seem like it's gotten that kind of full hardness yet. But 
you know, a good paint should be able to be thinned. That's just kind of the nature of the water-based paints is that you should be able to thin them without ruining them. And I'm not really sure of the results of the thinning yet or what happened, but, you know, it's definitely necessary if you're going to use it with a, you know, HVLP paint sprayer. Also, it's a full acrylic, so it's not a urethane. It doesn't dry to an extremely hard enamel, but it does maintain a lot of those acrylic properties and you know it, it's very flexible so while this might not be the top choice for me for cabinets i think for furniture or for some objects that will be moved a lot and that could benefit from some flexibility it's a good option the color is sir drake also Just cleaning the hardware here, denatured alcohol, and I just painted them with gold spray paint, nothing special. So I went ahead and gave everything a quick scuff sand and then I moved on to the second coat of paint.
This is just me cutting down the new plywood for the new backer and installing it. And here's the finished nightstands. So thanks for watching.